So a while back, I did a video showcasing the preset that I use when I play live pretty much all the time. And that preset is my Line 6 Marketplace Plexi Trim Ultimate Preset. It's just a wonderful, versatile preset that goes from clean to overdriven, works really well, and covers most of my needs when playing rock music, whether originals or covers. And I've also used this in the studio. So it's a very versatile preset. But along with just showcasing that preset, I also receive a lot of questions where folks ask, how I go about utilizing these presets live. Am I in snapshot mode? Or am I in stomp mode? How do I have my pedal board on the Helix laid out? And I thought it would make for a good quick video to show you exactly how I do utilize my ultimate presets when I'm using them live and how they're actually set up. So that when you actually get those from the Line 6 Marketplace, you will have a better understanding of how they're laid and how you can work. Because I have had some folks get some of the ultimate presets from the Line 6 Marketplace and then tell me like everything just sounds the same. They're, they're unaware that there's actually snapshots they can switch through and different combinations of effects they can use. And it's kind of awful because they have a preset with a lot of possibilities, but just not understanding how to maybe access those. So I thought today's video would help any folks who do have those presets to make sure that they're getting the most out of them and to really realize how versatile these presets can be. So without further ado, let's dive on down to the Line 6 Helix on the floor. I'm just going to be using a handheld camera today. And I'm going to show you using the Plex Trem Ultimate preset, which is the one I use all the time live, but this is really going to apply to any of my Ultimate presets that have a full array of effects that I have available on the Line 6 Marketplace. All right, so here we are taking a look at my Line 6 Helix. I'm using a little handheld camera today. I thought it might be the best so I could kind of zoom in and out. I hope things look okay like that. So the first thing that I would do is go over into our global settings and make a few switches. We'd want to come down to our foot switches here, which we know we can navigate to using our joystick control over here. So once we're there, you'll notice a number of things we can set. And I have my preset mode switches set to eight snapshots. So there's a number of different ways we can have this set presets, preset stomp, stomp preset, and so on and so forth. But I have mine set to eight snapshots. And I have my stomp mode switches set to 10 switches rather than eight switches. So what that's going to do is when I go to my stomp mode, it's going to get rid of my bank switches, but I don't really need those there as you're going to see when I show you kind of how I jump around between things here. So once I have that set to eight snapshots and 10 switches, so I can come out of that and go back to my preset. So I'm just using my Plexi Trem Ultimate preset which is available at the Line 6 Marketplace. It's really just stock the way it is. I may have added in a pitch whammy for one tune, I think, that we might do. But other than that, it's just stock. There's no tweaks to it. It sounds identical. I have my volume running on full, and I just use the final output block to kind of set my final output. So you'll notice now I'm in snapshot mode. So I have my four snapshots that come up. We have clean, push, overdrive, and lead. Now, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll show you the demo video for this preset so you can kind of hear what the tones are actually like. This switch over here is tap and hold for tuner if I so want that. And I can also then tap tempo in. And then this switch here is gonna give me the ability to go between snapshot mode and stomp mode. So we'll just stay on snapshot here. Now, if I do have to bank up or down, I can use my switches here to do so, but we're gonna stay there. So I can switch between presets if I want, but this is pretty much the preset that I use for the lion's share of an evening when I'm playing mostly rock music. But there are times where I do switch through. So you'll notice here I have clean push, overdrive, lead. And then up here for particular songs maybe that I want to access one of these snapshots but with a series of effects turned on already, I will utilize that. So we play a big rec song called That Song and when I switch that, you will notice that it turns on my delay and my script mod phase, right? So if I come back out of that and I just go back to like my normal overdrive, you'll notice none of those are engaged. I just have the dynamic ambience on. So that's kind of cool that I just leave a few up here and you'll notice these two are open for particular songs that need a very particular treatment. So that gives me that ability. Now, if I switch over to stomp mode, I then have all of my effects that are included in the ultimate presets, right? We have a tremolo, I have the Ampeg liquefier chorus, transistor tape delay, dynamic ambience, valve drive, Diana drive, script mod phase, gray flanger, bubble vibrato. I even have another one open here if I wanted to add an effect to that. So I can easily just switch back and forth that if I'm playing lead and I don't want delay, you know, I, I can come here and either turn it on or off very effortlessly. Uh, and then switch back over here and go to my overdrive snapshot. And if I need to switch back over and 
kick in a tremolo, I can do that or turn that on and off. So very effortless that I can move around. I have my core tones here on snapshots. If I need to add an effect and I flip over to that, very simple, very effortless, tap tempo is always going. And I can go back and forth between that as well as having sort of song specific snapshots at the top and the ability to bank up and down. That's basically it in a nutshell. And this is the way that all of my ultimate presets that are available at the Line 6 Marketplace are laid out. So if you do have those, this is the way that I use them, mostly for live, but even here in the studio when I need to access one and utilize it. All right, what did you guys think of that? I hope that that was clear. Just a quick little demo of how I would do some tap dancing around on the Helix just to get the most out of that preset and allow myself to be able to have an access to a wide array of sounds and a wide array of effects pretty effortlessly. You know, at first it might take you a little bit just to get used to the fact that you can switch between the stomp screen and the snap screen and be able to switch presets and tap tempo and tuner. But once you get a feel for where everything is laid out and how it all works, you can get a really good flow going together. And I think you might agree if you try working like that and I'm sure a lot of you already do work like that but I think you will agree that once you try it that way that it's a very versatile quick workflow that can work for a lot of situations and allow you to get the most out of your presets so thank you guys so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me I'm going to leave you today with the demo video for my Plexi Trim Ultimate preset which is available at the Line 6 Marketplace at the link below if you like what you hear in the video you can go give the product a look at the link below as I mentioned and if you want to grab a copy of that it always helps to support my channel allows me to keep doing these videos videos that a lot of folks have told me they enjoy. So thank you again so much for sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think we get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I will be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so, so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.